Hello, I'm Katherine Daniels from Washington State University. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a list of pesticides registered in Washington which have been approved by WSDA for compliance with I-502. If you have never used Pickle and you haven't listened to the main tutorial, you should stop this session, listen to the main tutorial first, then come back to this one afterwards. Let's start with the screen that opens when you access the Pickle database, the Simple Search. In the area that contains the state checkboxes, make sure that Washington is selected. Check that year of registration is set at current year only. In the item to search on box, scroll down and select I-502 I-692. Pickle lists both of these initiatives together because the crop system is the same. Leave the logic operator set to the default EQ or equals and choose yes in the common name box. Select the submit query button. This tells the database to perform the requested search. On the search results page you can see that today there are 216 matching labels. This number will vary on a daily basis depending upon the registration status of the products. Let's format the labels to view the search results. On the output page there are several ways that you can view the search results. The standard is the easiest because it comes out as a table. The all needs to have 20 labels or less in order to be viewed. So let's leave it at standard and click view labels. What you have here is a list of labels that meets the I-502 crop criteria. If you have a specific pest problem, you can further refine your query to identify labels appropriate for that pest. Select the Refine Query button. Notice that there is a new Boolean operator, AND. This term will allow you to take the pool of labels you've already found and search for more specific uses within that pool. In Item to Search On, choose Pest. Leave the operator at EQ. In the Common Name box, Let's select powdery mildew as our example. Again, we're going to submit the query. And as you can see, the number of labels has dropped down. We're going to format the labels and leave it at the standard table to view them. What you have now is a list of pesticides that are acceptable under 502 in the current year against the pest powdery mildew. You would do something similar for any other type of pest you want to search on. Don't forget you can move the search results into a spreadsheet by selecting the export to Excel button where you can later manipulate the list as you wish. And just a last reminder that you must read the pesticide label to determine if the uses fit your situation because some labels may be more suitable than others. The next slide will summarize the pickle search information that I used and give you a web link to the I-502 lead agency.